In this Flowblade tutorial, I will show you how to create a vertical video clip with the duplicate stretched and blurred as a background. I've assumed you have a basic understanding of editing in Flowblade. A link to my beginners tutorial is included in the description below for those that don't. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. I should be using version 2.6.3 other versions may be different so the first thing you'll need to do is obviously bring your video into Flowblade so if you just drag it into your media um, section you should find something comes up like this and what you need to do and I've assumed you've already set up your uh, profiles is keep current profile don't change it so select keep current profile drag your video clip into v1 or track one like that not like my first attempt and then drag a duplicate or drag another one into track 2 select track 2 then right click and next to add compositor select transform go back into your media browser and bring another track in bring the clip in again into V3 making sure you're at the beginning select V3 then right click and I'm gonna add a blur so next to add filter then next to blur I find the best one to use is IRR so select IRR IRR blur and just crank it up you can change this again by going back into it but I'm going to take it up to about I don't know 64 something like that make sure the track is selected again and this time right click and then next to add compositor select transform again Now nothing much will happen at present because you need to change the destination track. But first of all, before you do that, just drag this slider down, then place a tick in the distort box. Bring your slider up again, and then select, instead of V2, select V1. Now, Flowblade is very good if you're fortunate to have a Linux computer, but you have to do things in certain ways. Um, it's easy when you know how. It can be a bit confusing when you don't. So follow the instructions literally by the letter as I've done them, and you should end up with something that looks like this. I won't go into rendering because as I said at the beginning I've assumed you've got some knowledge of working with Flowblade basic editing anyway so I will go ahead and render this and this is what you saw at the beginning of the tutorial so like I said um, I'll go ahead and render this now and uh, hopefully that's helped someone thank you for watching cheers